This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's inferno, the devil's maze. It's a good world. Good world. You just gotta ask yourself one question. Are you feeling lubricated? G'day, how are you? Welcome back to the Greener Gold Life. All right, so today we're gonna to do the basic service and a little bit of annual maintenance that I like to do on the Scotty B today. Mate, the breeze is straight and hasn't let me down. Starts first pull and uh, just keeps chugging, mate. Excellent unit. All right, so we're gonna take care of the oil, air filter, spark plug. They're the main components to our engine that we're gonna take care of. Plus a little bit of extra lubrication for the, um, for the thrust pad and, uh, and the chain on the inside. All right, let's get to it, eh? All right, so the first thing I like to do is actually take the chains off and let it soak while I'm doing the rest of the service for, a, for about half an hour or so. So we'll get that underway. All righty, here we go here. So we're inside the, uh, the chain cover. So this, is the, this chain here provides drive to everything. So uh, when we engage our clutch here, it starts spinning this shaft here on top, which then it turns this top chain here. So, it's not until we pull the clutch, uh, the drive chain down here is engaged because there's a cork inside this one that then gets mashed together, which then uh, provides drive to our drums. Uh, I'm going to pull these chains off and soak them in fuel for half an hour while I uh, service the rest of the engine. Let's get to it, eh? At the start of last season, I had a drama with this old girl keep spitting this chain. What had happened was the shaft that was uh, holding this sprocket on had become a little bit bent. She was a bit cattywampus. And what was happening, it was, it was out by about a sprocket width. It was always spitting the chain off. So my mate Eddie fabbed up a new adapter plate or whatever for me so that uh, yeah, she was nice and straight and uh, I could keep on keeping on. So cheers, mate. Alrighty, so on my unit, the drivetrain doesn't have a link. So I had to back all that off, provide some slack, and then uh, take it off over the top. All right, let's get these soaking in some fuel, eh? Right? Alrighty, much like our other small engine service, we're gonna start off by removing the spark plug. If you missed my other small engine basic service, I'll link it in the description or put it in a card here somewhere. Go and check that one out. Um, but basically, we're gonna remove the spark plug lead so that um, if it somehow miraculously fires up, we're not gonna lose a finger to Something, I don't know. So just, uh, just unplug this one, eh? Alrighty, now we're gonna remove the oil. Pretty simple. Um, my Briggs actually has a filler cap here and one at the back here. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take the oil out from the back by just simply tipping the unit over. Let's get to it, eh? Let's get some new oil back in this unit here. So uh, I like to do that right away so I don't forget and uh, she seizes up on me or spits a leg out of bed or I don't know what they do when they run out of oil. But uh, yeah, let's do that, eh? Make sure you clean up all the gunk that's around it so that way uh, we're not inadvertently letting that sort of migrate into the engine and then ca causing all sorts of chaos. So I've got some uh, SAE 30. That's, you know, General rule of thumb is for any small engine like this, you know, you're normally using an SAE 30. I say generally, not all of them will, I'm sure, but uh, you know, it's a safe bet. But uh, you know, just consult your manufacturer specifications, all of that sort of stuff for the type of lubricant, tensions, um, capacities, any of that sort of stuff. So I sussed this puppy a few days ago and it's not looking too bad. I'm just going to give it a blowout like I did with the other one with the air compressor and she'll be fine.
Alrighty, let's get a new spark plug back in this old girl, and then that'll do it for our basic service. Because these are an aluminium head, they're very susceptible to damage, so cross-threading or cracking, anything like that. Once we've done that, she's cactus. So uh, what I like to do is um, run it in reverse for just a little bit, so half a turn, and then run it uh, in properly. That way we're ensuring we get the correct thread and, uh, and it's sweet. Alrighty, so now I'm going to nip it up. So uh, it doesn't need to be FT, it can just be uh, just tight enough, you know? Alrighty, let's go and see how our chains are doing, eh? Alrighty, so we've got a bit of gunk there. It's not looking too bad, though. Alrighty, as not to do half a job, I'm just going to give that a quick spritz with some uh, degreaser. Wipe it off with a rag. You may have noticed that I didn't get too fussy about which chain came off or where. That's basically because they can only go on one spot. Alright, so now we're going to provide tension back on our chains. To do that, we're going to adjust this bar here. By adjusting it up that direction, we're going to provide tension to this chain here and by pushing this bar back in this direction we're going to provide tension to this chain and we're going to do that simultaneously. Alrighty, some, uh, some thrust pads actually come with a, uh, a hole in it, so mine hasn't got one for some reason, I'm, I'm not quite sure why. Uh, maybe it's a special nylon that's resistant to friction, <laughs> probs not. But uh, yeah, so I don't really need to oil that, but there are, there are um, oil uh, lubricating points here and here, so let's get some oil in there. Right? Get a little bit of lubricant back on these chains here. So I've just got motorcycle chain lubricant here in an aerosol form. I'm just going to lube up the chain again and then I'll get the cover back on. Alrighty, we're all done with our um, yearly maintenance. Well, mostly. We still got to uh, we still got to sharpen the reel and bed knife. Now I sent this away at the start of last season. So it's only been sort of six months since it's had a sharpen. So um, what I'm going to do is actually backlap this old gill because uh, it's still cutting paper relatively well, and um, you know it's it's an exy exercise uh, to go and get it ground. So uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to backlap this old gill in another video. So uh, stick around for that one. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Uh, next week we'll be tackling my John Deere, the right on. Uh, we've got to give it a basic service as well and level the mowing deck. So uh, that should be a great video. And consider subscribing to the channel for more uh, lawn and garden content. You can also follow us on Facebook at The Green and Gold Life. You know, we're over there uh, announcing videos and a little bit of garden banter. So get over there for a look, eh? If you're looking for a sweet playlist to get some of your shed tasks done, I've got a, uh, I've got a playlist on Spotify. I'll link that in the description below. Alright, all I've got to do now is give this old hurdy-gurdy a spit polish. Alright, I'll chat you wrong. <laughs>